Tesla developed this supercharging technology, which is the most advanced charging technology in the world. This is something that allows you to make a brief stop at one of our Tesla supercharger stations, charge your car very quickly, and be on your way. Something that's unique about the supercharger is that it's free. It's not just free now, it's free forever. The number of Tesla supercharging stations is increasing dramatically. By the end of next month, we will have tripled the number of stations since the beginning of the year. Within six months, we will have covered most of the major metro areas of North America. A year from now, we will have covered 80% of the North American population, and within two years, over 98%. My name is Hong Yang, and my role here is focusing on the cathode precursor development. We are exploring a bunch of different optimal conditions to make our production environmentally friendly and also very efficient. Hi, this is Tesla Today, where we talk about the latest news and exciting things Tesla is doing to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. If you have already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share our videos. This really helps us to thrive as a channel and to continue making great videos for you every week. So what makes news for this week? Tesla now has 25 retail and service locations across the United States. However, it is less well known that Tesla has a growing R&D and manufacturing presence in Canada. It's everything about the battery. So definitely from this end all the way to the customer end, there is a big impact. Tesla has provided a rare glimpse into its expanding presence in Canada, where the automaker manufactures some of the machines that build the machine. The automaker employs over 100,000 people worldwide. Most of them are in the United States, where Tesla is headquartered, but the automaker is expanding rapidly internationally. It is best known for its efforts in China and Germany, where it is building and expanding two huge factories, but the company is also growing in other markets. This automaker has a slowly growing presence in Canada that is beginning to become quite significant. My name is Sonia. I work for the charging infrastructure team for Tesla Canada, and we build the supercharger network across the country. Last year, we completed the Trans-Canada Highway Supercharger Line, going from Vancouver, BC, all the way across to Nova Scotia and soon to be PEI. We based it off of convenience and also getting a supercharger in every province. The growth I've seen in Tesla Canada from four years ago has been both a growth in the mission as well as the people. Our teams have grown and we've opened more delivery centers, which is a great center for sales, delivery service, and also hosting superchargers. Canada is a small auto market, but it is important to Tesla because it provides strong incentives for electric vehicle sales. Tesla recently posted a new video on LinkedIn highlighting some of the work they are doing in Canada. In the video, Tesla highlights its team in Ontario that is developing new custom manufacturing equipment that will be used in its factories around the world. While Tesla Canada does not manufacture any of the automaker's vehicles, it manufactures machines used to construct Tesla vehicles. The manufacturing team is critical to Tesla's plan to produce its own battery cells. Also, Tesla acquired Habar Systems, a manufacturing equipment company based in Ontario that manufactures machines used in the production of battery cells, in 2019. In addition, Tesla has a significant advanced battery research team based in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in collaboration with Jeff Dan's Battery Lab at Dalhousie University. The company now employs over 1,200 people in Canada and is expanding its workforce with dozens of new positions. Is the next step the establishment of a vehicle manufacturing plant in Canada? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, if you want to see more about the innovations Tesla is putting in place to make the world a better place, please subscribe to the channel.